G'day and welcome to Gatekeeper's coverage of the 2023 New South Wales Open presented by MVP Disc Sports. We're at the Armoury Disc Golf Course in the heart of Sydney, Australia. This footage is brought to you by Rad, Gatekeeper Media and Parked Media. The commentary is many thanks to the Flying Disc Store. We are the Tee Off Podcast. My name is Tim Bowen and I'm joined with Paddy Robinson and Andrew Ferguson. Boys, good to be back for round three. Oh, I need some redemption after round two. Is it windy again? I hope not. Oh, I don't know if I can watch man. another round of damage. That was hurtful to see <laughs> as we look at the leaderboard. we got yeah Austin D'Alessandro, one over par. Leith Brody getting back onto the uh, lead card with two over par. Chris Hill, four over. And Adam Rigby joins the lead card. Out of Jindy Rigby. Yeah. The same on lead card. Well, I'll tell you what, it definitely, uh, round two did uh, tighten it up a little bit with, uh, yeah, anyway, hole one, par four, 213 metres. There's a mando on the right that you have to navigate. And then uh, the basket is a little bit downhill. There is some OB behind it. There's, o- well, there's OB everywhere, let's be honest. There's right, left, and, and behind it. So, yeah, let's see how they go. The flags are flapping. Looks like the wind is back. Hopefully it's not quite the 60k kilometres per hour gust that we had in round two because that was hard to put in. That's for sure. Those poor cows. I hope they've landed. (laughs) I was going to say, the flags are still there, so that's a good sign. Um, Austin wants to start big. This is looking fantastic. Nice, crispy new DD3. Settle, settle. Lovely. That's way up there, I think. Almost hit the one car in the car park, but he'll settle for a great okay, spot to next, get around the Mando. Head, sponsored by Well, that wind is definitely picking up. Still there. It's going to affect a few putts today, I reckon. Leith, this has a great move on it. Smooth. This will settle. I'll get off the tree. Yeah. In the shade. Beautiful spot. Not quite as turned over and committed as Austin's, but absolutely a good drive. Hole one. Pretty tricky hole. Good one to get, that's for sure. It's Chris Chili Hill. Chili, the happiest guy in Aussie disc golf. A little bit of a gallery there. Good to see. You can see he's throwing the new Vass. Interested to see how this one flies. Great move on this. Does does it fly Vassy good? (laughs) (laughs) It does. Look at that. Beautiful. Right up near where Austin landed. I wonder if whoever owns that car is getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> Adam Rigby hailing from Jindabyne, as our announcer said. Beautiful part of the world, Jindabyne. It's at the foothills of the, uh, the Alpine region, or it's in the Alpine region. I'll take your word for it, Fergie. You haven't been there yet. Should be, mate. There's heaps of good disc golf there. How many courses are there? Like five or six? Yeah. yeah. Great drive from uh, old Riggles. Uh, Leith to go first. I reckon he's just getting around this tree and getting a position where he can approach the basket, playing this for a four. Yeah, he'd have to carry OB and knife it into the green and not roll OB, so just no point going for that one. Rigby, on the other hand, showing off that powerful forehand that he's got. There's a bit of space over there, or has he pushed it too far? Looks like it's coming a little early. I couldn't tell if that was inbounds or out of bounds. We'll have to wait and see on his next shot. Chris Hill doing an ACL as he <laughs> <laughs> side arms this one to the top of the hill. He's got a little downhill look for his par. Austin's eyeing off the aggressive line with the forehand DD3 here. Oh, I like this. Come on, come that back. He's turning too much. I don't think that's got any chance. Needs oh. to stop. Oh, oh, hey. oh <laughs> Was that in or out? I think that's in. That's a bee's dig right there. That looked out to my right, but we'll have to see. All right. Leith, fantastic. He's broken this hole up very nicely. He'll drop in the par and drop ins at a premium in this wind. Ooh. Talk about <sighs> ultimate. Yep. That's fantastic. Bang. Just Robin Hooded Leith there, and he's even closer. Is that oh. where Rigby landed? I can't believe that stayed in. That was so All fortuitous. Right, wow. He's left that a little short, though. Yep. He knows he's disappointed with that attempt. No, I reckon yeah. Austin's in bounds. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Very fortunate. Yeah. yeah. Smiling, so. Yeah. <laughs> Great, Great part for par. That was Solid. death part all over. Headwind dropping off behind the basket. I didn't want to take that part, that's for sure. Leith in for the par, Chile in for the par, and Austin, he'll count himself lucky because that forehand second shot was not what he was after. Par frame to start. 
Moving on to hole two, we've got a par three, 94 metres, playing slightly uphill. It definitely funnels very tightly. As you get towards the basket, there's OB left and all the way around the basket and right. It's a, uh, it's a tough little uh, par three to get this one dialed in. Oh, I like this from Austin. Yeah, that'll be fading into the hillside. Oh, Ooh, didn't quite get the ground play. There are a lot of rocks to contend with, and he's yeah. obviously hit one. It's safe. You'd be happy with that. Yeah. Oh, this is nice from Leith. Is this going to skip on? He's oh, using the path oh, beautifully. Lovely. Be circle's edge, I reckon, there. Maybe eight, nine metres. Chili. Oh, Chili giving it 500% power. Oh. 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 Just turn. Almost got the kick back in bounds from that tree, but he just turned it over too much, and that is going to be OB pretty early for Chili. Luckily, it's not a very long hole. Great line from Adam. Yes. Oh, that was a oh. helpful little jump. Beautiful start. Anti-skip and roll. Yeah. I still think he's pretty short, though. Maybe circle's edge. So Chili not really oh. within striking distance because putting it up into the wind is always a uh, risky proposition. It's a good-looking line out the hand, though. Is Adam. Good putt on hole one. Not quite committed. Oh, wow. To how, how was that reaction? <laughs> Tried to get in. <laughs> Austin, this is a big putt. Oh, not quite high enough out of his hand. Very close, though. Good line. Settling for another par. It looks like we might have another par for him out of our hands. Unless Leaf. Oh. oh. Can't connect. Maybe just pointed with that one. That would that would to tie for Lee, too. wonder if that was on his mind. It may well have been. Boys have taken different paths to their plus one and plus two, with uh, Austin starting red hot in round one and just leading strokes in round two. Leaf more of the steady approach, keeping it clean. All right, next up, hole three, 82 metre par three. This is the pregnant tiki hole. Um, really, you want to get a hyzer out to the right, have it fade back. If you can get it to stick on this uh, uh, oh. bit of a hill where the basket is, then <laughs> happy days. Uh, that looks like that is yeah, too far yeah, left, Austin though. Austin was definitely asking a lot of that. Yeah, I don't know what he was going for there. It meant to be a lot wider than that, I believe. That's good width from Leith, but now if you get into this hillside... Going to make any disc golfer nervous. That settles up very nicely. And we have seen the wind coming across that left to right as well, so that's going to be a scary putt from the Leith. Rigby hanging out over OB. I don't think that's coming back. No, no chance. No. He's hit the fence. Is that OB? I think that's OB. I believe that is OB. So we okay. see Chile... Go for more of a uh, straighter line to the pin. I kind of like that a bit better. It takes mm. the OB out of play. To get a little... Oh. oh, okay. So Austin was in bounds. I reckon he is. He Jeez, that's lucky. No way to give that a run, but he found a way. And I actually didn't mind that out of his hand. That looked mm. like it was seeking, but couldn't yeah. quite get under the canopy. Definitely OB, yeah, definitely OB from Adam. He's come back a long way. Just this punching, looks good. Great punching his though. zone into the wind. Lovely. That'll be parks four. Unfortunately, a four. Leith here with a nice little look uphill for his birdie. Oh, so, it's a smooth. Awesome shot there. Jeez. Basically. Perfectly weighted that. Yeah. Yep. Love it. It was never going to go too much far past the basket, was it? Yeah. Neither oh, was that. Just give, them a, give them a basketball because this is just free throw territory. <laughs> I think Throwing the. Uh, up into this elevated net. I think the gallery is Chili's family uh, from the sounds <laughs> of things. We've come down from Newcastle to I watch. think you'll probably see. His lovely wife, Gina, who's also a fantastic disc golfer in her own right. Very boisterous on the uh, gallery there, buddy. As we move on to hole four, we've got a 111 metre par three. There's Amanda right in front of the tee, keeping you left, stopping the spy Kaiser play. Really, all you can do here, boys, is crank one low over the row that's OB and under the canopy that's near the basket. A little too turned over from Leith. It's fighting back very late. 
Oh, oh and no. somehow he's gotten through absolutely everything. Jeez. That's a little bit unfortunate for Leith. Yeah, and he's just tied Austin in for the lead too. He'll have a uh, a long look for the par save. Well, Chili just getting a little bit of cabbage there at the end. He'll have a long look for the birdie. Austin's done this drive pretty well in the last two rounds, and he's <sighs> put a fantastic move on this one. Beautifully weighted. Yeah. That is ideal. Very hard tee oh. shot, this one. Kind of throwing a little nose up because it's a little uphill right in front of your face. Ooh. Oh. It's kicked back. <laughs> no penalty, but this is going to be a super tricky up and down for old ringworm Rigby. <laughs> <laughs> it's my mission to call him a different nickname on every hole. Let's oh, see no. oh, no. It's kicked very left and it's out of bounds. Oh, that's not the mistake you want, unfortunately. Oh, oh that's a terrible lie as well from there. Finding every uncomfortable position on this hole is oh, no. Adam. That's a oh. nice little kick. Mm. It's going to be short. Do you think he's outside circle still? I think he's outside yeah. circle and looking at a five. Here's Leith for the par save. Ooh. Nice height. Needed a little bit more commitment, I think. Chili for the two. Ooh. Little step up from just outside. Jesus, big putt from Adam. Desperately Still a fair way this. out. Oh, oh, I really, I think that was in. Those leaves didn't hit it. Often do that where you're like, yep, this high, this power, and then you forget about these like little leaves that you almost don't see. Fantastic Ray. putt from Ray Austin. Putt. And that's strokes on folks with the birdie there because Leith will be putting in a bogey. Yeah, two-stroke swing. Adam will be putting in a triple bogey. Mm. Not what you want to see. And Chili, I believe, settling for the par. We've got the yeah, full big straight swing. on that one. Birdie, par, bogey, double. Let's so move on to hole five, Fergie. This one's a shorty. The jump putter. It's 54 metres. It's par three. And uh, you've got OB left, right, around the basket. Um, most people opting for the straight route, but Austin wants to go around. Ooh. Ooh. Tickles inbounds. No, no, no. He's going to be in the circle, but it's a tough little putt from there. I kind of like just going this line from Chile. Yeah. <laughs> the, get your most overstable approach disc. Keep it low. If you fall short, you've got to look at it at least. Honestly, you could probably throw, I don't know, a small hammer and just have it skid up. It's, it's that short. <laughs> Left it really early, the leaf. Adam yanked it a little bit. He's yanking it a little to the right so far, but great reaction off the tree. Very handy, kid. He's got a nice close look for birdie. Leaf, oh, just making work of this hole. Yeah, that's uh, an unforced error for sure. Austin, unfortunately, didn't have any airspace to give that a run, and Leith needs this for the par. Oh, boy. Uh, Quite short. It's such a shame because he was, he was getting close. Mm. It's a 54-metre hole. You wouldn't want to think it would take you three shots to get there. That's no, awesome. you do not want to bogey this one, unfortunately. And we can see the flag on the, on the basket really flapping now. The wind is not at the levels of round two, but it's certainly oh, up. And Adam. Goodness gracious. That is a spit out. Fergie, who yep. makes these rad baskets? Oh, well, mate. Look, <laughs> that's a, that's I, I a letter. I coming. do, but uh, <laughs> there is a new version coming out. It won't do nah, that. Nah, look. Oh, oh no, goodness no, me. No. You can't blame the basket for that. What happened? He's gone full Katrina Allen backpack oh, on. Oh, no. No, Leaf. No. Oh, oh that is goodness me. Absolutely unforced error from Leith. That's giving plenty of that, strokes to Austin. That basket would have none of it. Jeez. All righty. All right. Well, next up, uh, par three, hole six, 90 metres. Coin this uh, grandma's toothbrush. Yeah, the T sign has some teeth to it. Put it that yeah. way. As we see Chili turn one over a little early. That's coming up pretty short. Austin, probably thinking, did I just get that many strokes from Leith on the last hole? Given this is fantastic line. Back. Yes. It takes a commitment to turn your disc at OB like that, but he knows his discs. Adam wanting to make amends after a nasty spit out. To put that one up the guts and it's safe, but it's a little bit short. Leith. Leith wants to get up. Up and down. Come on. Ooh, I like this out of the hand. Hopefully that rides a bit of that left to right wind. I feel like that might be a little bit short, but he's up on he's up there at least. Adam's first to act. Looks like he's put that nice and close. Chili a lot shorter than I thought he was. 
That should be an easy three. These jump putts are literally just passing an ultimate disc to your mates, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and Leith just tap, putting it under the basket. It. Hopefully he takes the backpack off for this one. Yeah. As we see, Austin with a birdie look into the breeze. Yes. Fantastic solid. putt. See, they do catch. They do yeah. catch. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, though, that pole does get in the way. But yeah. uh, Releasing some pressure somewhat is Austin. As we see, Wrigley's, believe it or not, in for the par. <laughs> There's Leith with yeah, another Leith, par well and no bag on. Bag off, yeah. Good to see We've all done it. Yeah. We've all done it. We've all done it. Oz Discs. Powering Team Heiser Flight. Check them out at ozdiscs.com.au as we move on to hole 7, 117 metre par 3, or a par 1 if you ask Dwayne Fisher, who happened to ace this in the first round. Takes a nice controlled drive that doesn't glide past the baskets because Did OB's right there. I'm pretty sure he got this in Dwan, didn't he? <laughs> Paddy, the puns. <laughs> As Austin goes with a nice forehand to control the distance, and that is an absolutely <sighs> fantastic shot from Austin. Park job. Chili with the flex forehand down the guts. Looks like it's over, overstable enough to check up before the OB. Tim, you're looking excited there. Mate, I love a flex forehand, and that was great from Chili. He's going to have a nice tailwind putt for the birdie. Adam, probably go for something slower and straighter. It's gone the hyzer flip. Yeah, I like this, actually. I feel like it's... Oh, no, got a bit, little bit of a skip. I reckon he'll have a long look. Almost got that up to flat, but not quite. Leith opting for the forehand as well. I think the crosswind really uh, lent itself to this forehand. That's nose down and turned over, unfortunately, coming up very short. I feel like the last couple of holes are sort of getting to Leith a bit. Yeah. But that's a fantastic upshot. Great recovery. Well, it ran away from him a bit, but not a worry. He should have that short putt for the par. Adam, outside circle for a birdie. Ooh. Ooh, wanted it not quite. That tailwind just slamming it down a bit, I reckon. Yeah, as we see with Chili spin putt. Austin will get another stroke after that because he is parked for the birdie. Great comebacker into the headwind from Leith. All of a sudden, boys, it's not very close again. Yeah. Austin moves Ooh. to two down overall, He's and pushing. next best is Chile at plus three. As we see, Eleanor Rigby. Oh, no, sorry, Adam Rigby <laughs> punching one out. Oh, you're a Beatles fan? Oh, yeah. Beatles? Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Moving on after that terrible joke to hole number eight, par for 159 metres. You've got a mandatory that you have to keep right of with OB that wraps around the right all the way up to the basket, which is placed in uh, the uh, thick part of the woods here. It's pretty straightforward, this one, guys. It helps to have a backhand, as uh, Austin will show us now. Don't really know if you need to be too aggressive around the Mando. Just positioning positioning oh. yourself short of the Mando. Uh, just do keeping that. Keeping it right. Just yeah, do that's that. Ideal from Austin. Right. <laughs> I haven't uh, really seen anyone go the big hyzer line. And I don't know. With a bit of tailwind, I feel like that might Oh, he's done it again. Ooh. He hit that he, Mando he sign did. on round one and was inbounds. And unfortunately, this time he's crossed the banner. So he's OB. Bit of an unforced error, this one, because as I said, you don't need to take this Mando on. It's only 159 metres, as long as you're level with it. I reckon to the right. Adam's short enough there. I reckon he'll be able to navigate that Mando. Smooth rip from Leith. Needs to push. Looks like it has. Yep. Yep, there Lovely. you go. And he's just settled up. Short of the drop zone. Going to have to go something pretty overstable here, Adam. Yeah, we'll skippies. Playing the skips. Not quite getting into the tunnel. Hmm. I reckon he'd want that one again. Oh, yeah, at least got a good look at this. The basket's just in those trees there, so he just has to make sure he picks his little gap there, which he looks like he's done absolutely perfectly. Great line. Oh, yeah. yeah. Checked up by one of the trees. Another short six, seven metre putt for the birdie. As we see Chili with that unfortunate penalty stroke. Needs to get up and down for the par. Ripping Ooh. on his caster plus yarn. Ooh. Get in. And that is Ooh. parked. Yeah, very nice. Loves it. Finally, we get to Austin. 
basically you go to almost a jump part up. Ooh. Oh, absolutely textbook. That's right. how you play this hole. It's going to be hard to catch if he keeps playing like this, boys. I think he feels like he's starting to find his groove. I mean, we Ooh, saw him cool. go absolutely lights out in the uh, front nine of the, the first round. Mm -hmm. So we know what he's capable of. There's a better putt from Leith. That looked full commitment. Chilly too. He's old Adzi. Straight in for the par. And Austin does a tap in. So two birdies, two pars. That'll move us on to hole nine. Paddy, what are we looking at here? All right, hole nine is a very short and technical par four. You're in the woods. You've got to get out of the woods. Don't go too long. Don't go too short. Uh, there's OB long, trees short, and then the basket is sitting on a peninsula with OB all around it as well. So, Yeah, the drop-off behind the basket is very treacherous. So getting out of the tunnel is... Priority A, but priority B is getting some distance, so you've got a short approach to a very, very hazardous green. Forehand, but a little bit high and catching a branch, and it's got a bit of work to do. Chili just going for the berg. Yeah. Get out of the tunnel. That's all you got to do. This par 4 is 120 metres. Yeah. It's nothing. No real way to eagle it, unless you do some sort of... Oh, I thought he was eyeing off the roller there. But uh, he's yanked over a forehand, unfortunately. That's uh, it's going to be a tricky... I'd like to see that. Just a, a wicked cut roller. <laughs> <laughs> that checks up on a slope. Oh, <laughs> Leith out of the tunnel in two. Oh, I progress oh. pretty far. You can loft a big forehand out. Looks like he might be settling for the par. Jeez, that's an absolute meat hook, whatever it is. Oh, he got pretty close to OB there. Oh, it is OB. That oh, is oh, across the road. road. Yeah. Super unfortunate. It's a scary little approach, this one. Ooh. Oh, boy, that's too low. Riding the ground. That is too short and an absolute That's, death putt. That'll be layup yeah. zone. Here's Austin with his most overstable mid-range. I don't think he meant to give it that much flex. Needs to fade back. Oh, Might be a strategy lovely. from him oh, to, be, to okay. go long yeah. and putt is away he, from OB. I feel like we've watched that every single round. Smart. Smart beyond his years, young Austin. He's just taking on the OB. Popping it up into the headwind. Oh. Into the oh, crosswind, no. I mean. Is that Playing beautiful? Well. Yeah. So they look like a bit of an ugly reaction, but... Oh, Chili almost putting it in. Yeah, not a bad bid. And there's Chili with his 50th thumbs up <laughs> through the first nine holes. So we see Adam settle. He's going to be jumping in a, what, a double bogey for Adam? Or just a single? Just a single. Good uh, pass save from Leith after that. Um, not the most ideal drive. Great birdie from Austin. The wind is testing both these boys' putts and my maths. As we see, yeah, it is just a single bogey, bogey for Adam. Chili will tap in the par. So, boys, it was really only Austin that came out firing in that round. He's four down through the round, five down overall. Yeah, very All the solid. way around, I mean, actually. He's five down for the round. Yeah, Leaf playing well, just a couple of bad holes there. Um, same with Chili, looking good, but uh, Austin is taking a bit of a lead there. Yep. Thanks to Rad Gatekeeper and Park Media for the fantastic coverage. I'm Andrew Ferguson. I'm joined with Paddy Roberts and Tim Bowen. We're the TF Podcast. Until next time, get out there and play some disc golf with your mates.